Hey Bill, you said the other day that you are a Roman Catholic. Don't you know that the Bible teaches that you are not to refer to any spiritual leaders as father? Really? Where? In the Bible man, you Catholics should read it sometime. It's the word of God, you know? We read it. But show me where it says what you claim. Sure. In Matthew, chapter 23, verse 9, it says, And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. Booyah. But wait. You said it specifically meant call no spiritual leaders father. The passage says, call no man your father. It makes no distinctions. Do you think this is supposed to be taken literally? I mean strictly literal, if that makes sense? There's only the literal sense man. You Catholics and your multiple senses. Traditions of men. Okay then, let's take it literally. What do you call the two people who bring you into this world? Duh. My mother and father. Oh. I know what you are trying to do. Your witchy witchy ways won't work on me. You want Abe Christian, but you can't be because of your traditions of men, and your rosaries, and your salvation by works, confession to other sinners, and statues. I could go on. I call them my mom and dad. Thank you. How do you like them, apples? I'm glad you came back on topic on your own. So, you seem to have discovered the flaw in the argument. The passage doesn't say call no spiritual leader father, it says call no man father. If that is to be taken literally, without going deeper, then it might sound like we can't call anyone at all father, including our biological fathers. Okay, I think you are wrong, but go on. Well, just look at the surrounding passages, and even the one you quote, verse 9, and call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. Even Abraham was called a father in a spiritual sense, and Paul called Timothy his son in the faith in 1 Timothy, chapter 1, and 2 Timothy, chapter 1. Then we have the surrounding verses which says, But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your teacher even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And, how do you refer to our boss man, when you speak to him? Mr. Callahan. Did you know, that the title Mr. is derived from the word master? Verse 10 says, Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. <laughs> so, if we were to understand these passages in the way you were, then we should never call any teachers, biological fathers, and other people by the titles of teacher, father, or mister. Rather, I think what these passages are saying, is that if one is to oppose earthly teachers, fathers, and masters to our heavenly teacher, father, and master, then they can never compare. It is not saying, that we shouldn't have earthly teachers, fathers, and masters. That would be absurd, because there are those in the Bible, who legitimately have those titles. Okay well, why do you guys pray to statues? Don't you know, that that is breaking the commandments of God not to make graven images for worship? Why all you Catholics participate in idolatry, plain and simple? Okay, I think it's time to get back to work. We can discuss that another day. I see, running away when your traditions of men can't hold up to the light of truth, Christian truth? Yes, that's it. Say hi to your father when you visit them on your vacation for me, okay? Bye. Okay sure, wait a minute. Ah, never mind.